There we go. That'll help warm up a little bit. What are you doing? No, just kill the damn thing. There you go. Don't doctor it. It's good practice, but come on. And then we need mining. I think that's Jack after uh, cooking and hunting. We'll take you off hunting for the time being. We'll get Chrissy12321 doing it. There you go, because you're currently doing the constructing, which uh, that'll take a while because you're not very good at it. That pistol that we bought. Yeah, I'll give you the pistol. Sorry, come all the way back. Hmm. Urban, how you doing back here? Shivering, you're a little bit cold. Happily nude though, you love being naked. Lutzram, how you doing? Minor hypothermia, okay. Well, we got a place for all, but it's 20 degrees in here, finally. It's, uh, it's gonna drop off rapidly overnight, but... That'll be okay, where they're staying is getting kind of warm a little bit, sort of. Torches are great until a certain threshold, I notice. And after they pass that threshold, they're totally worthless. I don't know if that's torches specifically, or if that's just how heat in this game works. Awesome. And okay. Where is Muskyens? Calling a barricade, you asshole. Head into here, clean this place up a little bit. Awesome. And then clean this place up a little bit. Locking people in for just a moment. Absolutely amazed, plus nine, very cool. I assume the beauty helps out a little bit. It's still pretty rough in here. A little bit of stone up there is doing it, keeping it under one, but... Like, floors alone aren't enough. The, the sculpture there is not really enough. We need, you need a really hammer beauty. And if people are wondering why I don't floor stuff often, that's why. It's because having a nice floor alone won't be enough. Yeah, filth happens, but still, like, beauty is just one of those things that it fluctuates really quickly. And you need a lot of beauty in order for it to actually be anything significant. So, for that reason, that's why I don't floor stuff up, because the floor alone won't be enough. And I don't usually worry about beauty until I can start doing art. And a little bit of pain from the hypothermia. Should be okay pretty soon. Reinstall this. I can reinstall the medieval bunches, which is fantastic. Production. Get the basic aesthetics bench. Oh. For a second, I thought it said it would require 80 steel even just for the wood one. Like, what? Yeah, we'll go with wood. Right there. And then... Brazier. An unfinished steel cup. Cancel it. That steel stuff being in rough shape, man. Dragonfly working on that. Tailoring should be... Getting done, kind of, sort of. Ronzilla, what are you up to? Relaxing socially right now. Modern smithing, okay. Hold on. With that, I think micro microelectronics basics, perhaps? Well, it requires electricity first, okay. So we should start working on that then, I suppose. So we will. Otherwise, there's machining, but that also requires electricity, but that required modern smithing. And then with that, that allows me to do uh, stuff like rib replacements, the high-tech research bench, simple prosthetics, requires microelectronics, and all that jazz, jazz surrogate organs, all sorts of fun stuff. So let's work on quote-unquote electricity. So, go! We're just pretending, keep in mind, because I fucked up a little bit. 
Let's see about throwing these around here and there. Why not? There, how about that? That'll work. Wood all needs to be hauled still. Working on it. It'd be nice. Also, mind that out so we have a path around this building so we're not having to go up and around. We can just go down and up and through. Let's see if that's a little faster. Maybe. Jesus. Such a run. Who is doing mining? I think I, think I checked that but then I forgot immediately. Jack, after repairing. Don't repair, you're bad at it. Ron. Um, uh, need materials. Really? For all of that? 25 of any cloth. really just have leathers. I guess we do. So get rid of the padded jacket thing. And we'll do that leather padded jacket. Whichever one that is. That's the one. The bottom one. So do until you have maintain two. But immediately do I guess seven. No, we have a nudist, never mind. That's right. Backwards. There. Make the winter gloves, the immediate order, and then do the maintaining. And then padded jacket. And the padded jacket is leather, out of anything. So Ron, Taylor, clear prioritize work. Excellent. So now I have some outside light, so it's a little more visible here. It has to be refueled, which is annoying. season four days. Okay, not bad. And there's no beauty to it. Reduces a small amount of heat too? I guess. Um, <laughs> it's an outside thing though. I can't imagine that being inside. That'd be very odd. 11 C in there. It's getting there. 8 C in there. Yeah. Okay, let's do... Let's do this. It'll upset people for a bit. But that's fine, and we can turn this into a prison of sorts. We're gonna have to go for dorms. Uh, deconstruct these doors as well. Okay. Poor, awful, awful, poor Rose, man. Disgusting. But any bed's better than no bed. Barely. Rotate your bed. Move that up. Move that up. I mean, why am I even doing double beds? I could just get rid of the double beds. And just go single beds. Let's just do that. Double beds was expensive to do. We'll just go single bed so I can cram more into here. We're gonna go for dorm and then uh, prison. There. And then furniture, give them a table. With stools. And then just standard wood beds. Perfect. 
and then structure wood wall. Finish that up. And then a couple more torch lamps. And there, that should keep them warm. This probably need more. The lighting in here is getting really dim, but I don't think it actually matters. Campfire lasts how long? Yeah, just like a few days, I thought. Really not that great. Three. Four. Mm. Uh, so, deconstruct that. We got the heat built up. So we'll do a few torches here and there. To help it out. Okay, we have beds. They're not great. At all, but they'll work. There, get in there. Let's sleep, Jesus. I'm so sorry, guys. And if we beautify this up, like, a lot, they'll get a positive mood lit because their barracks or whatever is impressive, but it's only a plus one, two, three, or four, I think, if it's, like, super amazingly luxuriant. So it's really not worth it. But shared bedroom minus five, and they're just gonna have to put up with it, unfortunately. At least for now. Love for you just to get that done. I'm gonna manly tell you to do it, keep you up for a bit. Jack Sprat, copy. Work. Because you guys still don't do prioritized mining like you do with other things. You'll cook to death, but when it comes to mining, you say fuck no. Oh god. Every female winces in pain. Dragonfly is gonna have a really rough time. Um. Chrissy12321 two, two, one might be okay. Muskian's gonna have a rough time. And Gerben will be okay. So you, we're not apparel. What? Gazelle Leather Parka. Mm. Yeah, that'd be nice if that worked, huh? Only we could repair stuff. Edit the soldier outfit. Anything over 55%. Technically, 50% is okay. Well, actually, 60% because we disassemble stuff below 60%. So 60 to 100, wear it. Because technically I could do 50, but I want it to be around for a little while. Uh, I don't want you to just like wear it for a day and then have to drop it. And there you go. So they should get that taken care of. That'll be the worn out apparel. Dragonfly, what can I do for you? Shared bedroom, disturbed sleep. Uh, ugly environment, slept on the ground, in the cold, just generally feeling bad. That party's, like, really clutch. Okay. You should be okay in a bit. Should be. We'll turn that into the prison. Ron making some, disassembling some stuff. We got alpha beavers. That's such a pain in the ass because it's really fucking cold out there, but okay. We'll do what we can. Ron, you're in okay mood. Come down here. You're in an, oh God. Dragonfly's working on that, okay. We'll turn that into, uh... Into your bed, that'll help a bit, you won't have a shared bedroom. Let's 
about the best we can do for you. Jack. You finish the mining, right? So you can go back to your normal. Which means sleep. Quickly. For what it's worth. 12th hour. And give you a little more sleep. In there. You might sleep through the joy and that's fine. There's joy at the end of that you can do. Lutstrom, you're melee. Do you have to be melee? No, you're just terrible at shooting. Yeah, we'll keep you as melee. You need melee in this game. And muskins, you're also sensitive. Fuck, man. Alright. Just uh, the one or two of your whatever. Ron? Ron, you're the only hunter I've got for this? Shit. Because the other people, I don't want them breaking out here. That'll be horrible. Come on, Ron. <sighs> Fuck it. Send them up for hunting. Somebody will sort it. Very low expectations. Feeling good. Tons of joy. Comfortable. Good. You're not sharing a bedroom anymore. Excellent. Muskians, how you doing? Tons of joy. Excellent. That's keeping everybody afloat right now. That and the low expectations. I love it. <sighs> and this is just to make hauling a potential option. So there. That's that done. I need you over here. For these alpha beavers. The fog and darkness is an epic pain. Look at this. You can't fucking see it at all. Target's lying down 20%. The alpha beaver's gone prone. Oh god, we can't see it. Something's spotting in. Yeah, you need to take care of yourself. We got a raid coming by. Soldiers of Torment, they're... Preparing. Good. We've got... Incendiary Launcher. Wooden Club. Heavy SMG. Pistol. Wooden Club. Frag Grenades. Steel Shiv. Wooden Club. EMP Grenades. That's a lot of stuff. Are you sure I deserve all that? I need you up here, Jack. We need to start picking on him. If only you could fire far. Why can't you be a trebuchet? That'd be okay. Hauling an alpha beaver. Dude, don't worry about the alpha beavers. Fuck all of these things. They're all assholes. Okay, so I'm just gonna have you, uh... Hunt in quotes all of these. I say hunt in quotes because you're just shooting at them point blank with a pistol repeatedly until they die. Not exactly hunting. getting revenge. Are you okay to run away from it? Getting a little bit of speed on it. They're beginning their assaults already. That was not preparing for very long at all. Jack, you're gonna have to hang out over there. Moleskians. Back here, we don't actually have defenses up here anymore. This is gonna suck so hard, man. Incendiary launchers alone is just like game fucking over. They're so bullshit. They hit when they miss. You can't do anything about it. It's a melee over there. And you just keep taking pot shots at it. It should be almost dead. You could probably just melee it down. Point blank, come on. You suck at this. There you go. I'll get over here, I need you. Take a smart route, please. 
Run, Jack, run. They're doing that south route, aren't they? Of course they are. This mountain is so fucked up. Which means, Chrissy, you're gonna have to really haul ass. You're not gonna be able to make it though. You're gonna have to go down and around. Okay, and here we are. There's this. I'll need you to shoot at the incend uh, incendiary launcher as soon as you can. Lucy, what's your chance to hit? 12. And it is what it is. And then we got melee and heavy SMGs over here. We'll have to wait around the corner for him. And a pistol. And another club. Oh my god, there's so much melee. We're so fucked down there. Igniting blister. Okay. I thought you were using it for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> I heard that. That's the incendiary launcher doing its bullshit. Existing. And then melee got up on us, I wasn't paying attention. Frag grenade, you're slowed down because of the melee, and you're immediately down. It's an amazing fucking one-two, and the game doesn't realize its potential. Melee and grenades. Oh my god. And the incendiary launcher? This raid right here shouldn't happen this early. Like, this is ridiculous for me to have to handle right now. The game doesn't realize it, though. The game's just looking at a pure point value. It doesn't actually give a shit. So you club them down, you're gonna have to head over there and club that guy down. Up here. Meanwhile, we're doing this really annoying kiting business. This guy's gonna run up and point blank Jack Sprat with the grenades. No? Ow. Fire though, can't control him, grenade goes off. Another grenade, locked down from melee, still can't move. Still can't move him. He's totally useless right now. Meanwhile, down here. Uh, headshot? Who? Oh, that guy got a headshot on you? Wouldn't surprise me shooting at him. Working on it. Chance of hit's probably pretty bad, though. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You're gonna have to get, uh, get closer. Does he have a, a heavy SMG down there as well? Okay, got him. Scoot up. Move. Get out of there. They're attacking a door, that's fine. Ron's about to burn to death, can't do anything about that. Uh, Jack's back, which is cool. Just a simple firefight between Kaori and Chrissy12321. Chrissy got shot to death though. You guys are still waiting for them to get closer so we can engage via melee. Jack's on fire with the frag grenade. Uh, now most kids are on fire. I can't control either of them. The cooldown to the incendiary launcher is very short. As is the frag grenade. Jack's down with the grenade on his lap. He's dead. Well, about to be dead. And now they're kidnapping who they can and leaving. Okay, so you're gonna have to run up and melee them. Uh, that's not kidnapping who you can and leaving, I'll have you know. Mr. Uh, SMG guy there. You rat fuck. That's not kidnapping! Asshole. It's like a drone's ending. Yeah, there's that. Rescue Jack. Really, you just dropped him and ran? The fuck? So the only person we got up is Muskoyans. Excellent. And we're fighting frantically to try to get our cook back. Who? We can because you... You, uh, you saw somebody coming back for the body that they had dropped. 
for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why they dropped them in the first place. And so they dropped them, ran, and then came back for them, scaring you. So then you dropped them, and then he came back and picked you up. Ugh. So now it's... Hey, now they're fleeing. Okay. So how far away? Who needs to be saved? Dragonfly or Gerbin? Jesus, take your fucking pick. They're both really far away. I guess Gerbin? Health 113% per day. 192% per day, okay. We might be able to make it to Gerbin in time. Maybe. If we're lucky. Actually, we, uh... We might need a firefight instead, actually. Everything's burning down. And this is when people tell me, that's why I don't build out of wood, but I didn't really have a choice. That's not the fire I'm concerned about. Fucking incendiary launchers. We're on... What, rough, I think? What, what even are we on? This used to tell you. Somewhere. Did it move? We're on Cassandra on rough. Rough. Rough, and it gave me a shitload of melee, frag grenades, incendiary launchers. And a never-ending fire that I can't beat out. I mean, we'll try again, I guess. We'll try again and I'll go tribe this time. We'll be a medieval tribe and I suppose we'll do it proper. To be fair, I didn't realize how... Uh, how involved Medieval was. I was actually kind of surprised that it actually gives you enough to get by pretty much the entire game. So that, that's actually pretty cool. It's a really neat mod. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh look, Heart Snow. It only took uh, half my colony burning down. I'll take you off firefighting now since that's actively being work done. And uh, we'll just go ahead and give this a reboot. As a tribe. And because of that, I don't think I'll be going anywhere where it's really cold. Collapse you to exhaustion, can you? Can you just, uh, go ahead. It doesn't matter. I'm rebooting anyway, but come on now. Muskians. You got this. Rest in a proper bed. One of the few structures that we have set up. Yeah, staying warm 23. Yeah, we'll go for a reboot, which is a shame. I was kind of liking this colony. But, now I know. Um, and then murder holes. I mean, I suppose I'll, uh, I'll just real quick here. We'll go dev mode, god mode, just to check these out. Because apparently, they're really super awesome. So, like, what do we got here? Set force target. Just this really small area. Like, it seems really bad. There's no cooldown, though. At all. So, I could still... Just hypothetically speaking here, if we had a... Uh, I'll just deconstruct, whatever. We'll just pretend we had a really cool defense set up here. Although we'll be setting our own shit on fire, but, you know, still. Yeah, you can still launch it over walls. Well, parapet. Walls, I don't know. Probably not. Walls stop, I think, everything. There's some ice walls. Can you still? Can you still launch it over a wall? Yes. What? Hold the phone. There's no way. You can shoot these over proper walls. Slight block wall. Wow. Okay. That changes things. Interesting. 